All right, I'm going to do a quick demo of how you can use the whiteboard feature in Flipgrid or teach your students how to use it to show off a concept they have learned. I am going to click on this magic wand of effects and I'm going to choose the whiteboard. Now students can choose it or you can choose it before or after you record. I've not started recording yet, so I'm going to bring up that board. Um, I have a variety of boards to choose from. I'm just going to go ahead with the classic white and you notice uh, this is a new feature. You can do a split screen with that so a student can still include part of themselves in that video as well. So I think I'll try that. And I still haven't started recording yet. I'm going to put that whiteboard feature away. And along with those effects on the whiteboard, I can draw and I can add text. Um, I'm going to choose to add some text on that whiteboard. I can choose the kind of text. And maybe you're asked, you've asked the students to solve a math problem and explain how they've solved it. So they can set up their board ahead of time with that problem. Maybe it's a uh, 23 plus 38 and you've been working on different strategies for double digit numbers so the kids can set this up ahead of time so they're not recording i still haven't done that yet and i'm going to use the pause button and the record button as we go to show that students can pause pause and explain pause and explain over and over again so i'm going to press record and there we go three two one okay i'm going to explain how i would solve 23 plus 38. The 2 is 20 and the 3 is 30. So I'm going to add those numbers first. Now I pause that video, you can see, and now the student can pause so that they can do their work and it doesn't become part of their video. It doesn't get bogged down. They can pause and replay as many times as they want to. Um, I can go into uh, that effects box and I could draw or text this time. Maybe I'll draw I can change the thickness and the color so I can say All right, I've got 20 Plus It's a good thing I'm doing this on pause 20 plus 30 you might aim kids towards using those text boxes. I'm going to touch my screen. I can also do my three. Okay, I guess I'm not going to touch my screen. That didn't work so well. Three plus eight. So then the student could press play again. Okay, so I am going to do 20 plus 30 and three plus eight. And I just paused again, and then the student could continue their description. I am going to go back in that effects, and I'm gonna add another text box. Pick that text box, there it is. Uh, 20 plus 30 is. 50 and notice I'm still paused so it's not affecting the time of the video I've only recorded a few seconds so 20 plus 30 gives me 50 I can go back and add another text box 3 plus 8 is 11 I can go ahead and move that over there and now I can play again. Okay, so 20 plus 30 is 50 and 3 plus 8 equals 11. Now I'm going to add up 50 plus 11. I'm pausing again. Go back in and grab that text box. And I know that 50 plus 11 is 61. Move that on over. Unpause. So 50 plus 7 equals 61. Um, so 23 plus 38 equals 61, and that's one way that I could solve that problem. So there you can see a way that a kid could use a whiteboard to demo a problem to show proficiency, uh, used as a formative or maybe even a summative assessment.